Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here. I'm traveling again. Now I'm actually stuck at quarantine in my hotel room in China. Behind me, hopefully you can see it right there. It's the beautiful Beijing city at night. Look at the cars and lots of light over there. This is a VR 180 video. So look around and watch it on your VR headset like that Meta Quest 2 right here. I know my hotel room is boring in VR, but I will soon teleport you to CES at Ken Booth. So stay with me. This is shot on the EOS VR system. If you are a fan of Canon, you know that already Canon R5C just announced this changed everything for EOS VR system. And yes, Canon confirms that R5C is going to support the RF 5.2mm f2.8 L2 fisheye lens, the one filming me right now. Let me just quickly go through all the new features that really matter to VR filmmakers on the R5C compared to the old R5. The most important thing is R5C can shoot 8K in 60 frames per second. If you don't know why 60 frames per second is crucial to VR filmmakers, please check out the 60 frames per second versus 30 frames per second comparison video right here. Second, it won't overheat no matter what resolution or frame rate you are shooting on. Number three, it now has waveform, vector scope, and even Canon Force Color, all the good stuff a professional filmmaker will need. Number four, have a new tally line in front of the camera, but it removes IBIS. We don't care about stabilization anyway, so should show, I mean, you should not move VR camera in VR 180 anyway. Number 5, it is now a dual gain ISO in C Log 3 with Bay ISO in 800 and 3200. This helps reduce sensor noise when shooting VR 180 video in low light situation. Number 6, it can shoot Canon RAW in 8K 60 frame both in standard and LT, but it does need an external power supply. You can use a standard Apple USB C cable, power cable, as a power supply, so no extra purchase needed. Number 7, it does not have an internal ND filter like the C7D, but the dual fisheye lens can attach an ND in the back, so it's not a big deal. I will have the R5C on my hand very soon to review to give you some hands-on feedback and also create US VR tutorial just for you. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. Now let's go to CES 2022 and interview Brandon from Canon about the dual fisheye lens and the US VR system. Hey, welcome everybody to CES 2022. We are in the Canon booth right here. It's one of the biggest booths in CES and Canon this year, releasing a brand new camera behind me. And actually you probably saw the review already, the Canon VR 180 EOS VR system. With me, we have Brandon here, product specialist. Um, Brandon, can you just give our viewer a little bit introduction of yourself uh, and then the camera behind you? Sure. I'm Brandon Chen from Can USA. Uh, I'm one of the uh, product spokespeople for Can USA, and we're obviously showing off our RF dual fish islands that we're incredibly proud of. And uh, Hugh's been having it for a couple of days now. He's been enjoying it, I think. Yeah, and I love we're it. We're here to go and show it off to all the other folks that are visiting us here at CS 2022. So uh, on display, we have uh, kind of a live demo here with the RF dual fish eye and the EOS R5. Uh, and we have various different headsets uh, that people can very much grab uh, and obviously see the footage that we produced. Nice. So I think uh, my viewers have a lot of questions. I think the question like being asked a lot is any best practices to use this system compared to all the Canon camera come before it? Yeah, so as far as VR, uh, it's a very interesting format. Uh, when you, you look at what you're able to do with this, with 190 degree capture, uh, when you look at a shooting rig such as this, you really want to make sure that you're not seeing the legs of a tripod. Uh, when you're starting out, using a fixed and and uh, you know, uh, tripod style setup, you're not gonna introduce any uh, different vibrations, you're not gonna photo bomb it with your shadow because it's such a wide angle lens. Photo bombing shadow, that's yeah. a good one. <laughs> I uh, think that's a good one, yep. But at the same time, we have a lot of tools built into the EOS R5, uh, like our camera connects, our EOS utility, where you can actually remotely control and start and stop your clips uh, with the EOS R5 and you know, your compatible devices. So 
using a, a, a horizontal arm like this allows the lens to be extended forward that you don't see the, the tripod legs. Uh, that obviously makes it a lot easier for you in post that you don't have to paint anything out. Nice, yeah. Uh, but at the same time, because you're shooting 8K, you're seeing substantial amount of detail and you're getting a very robust file. Uh, with the camera, you're able to do Canon Log, uh, either the original format or Canon Log 3, uh -huh. which will provide you 10-bit uh, 422 color. Uh, a lot of detail there. 10-bit 422. Yeah. yeah. A lot of uh, detail in your color gradations when you're dealing with highlights. Uh, and obviously the lens is very, very uh, talented uh, where there's a variety of different coatings. So positioning the lens properly, this way you don't have any uh, you know, visual disparities mm -hmm. in things like flare, where it's very controlled, but you obviously want to be aware of those type of things. Uh, it's obviously important. And uh, really things like simple things like leveling the, the lens off is something that we, we obviously consider quite a bit. Nice. Uh, so there's actually electronic level in there. Uh, we also added a uh, magic window, which will allow you to pretty much see your resting head position. Oh, that's important. Yeah, so yeah. we can kind of show you through on the back of the, the camera, uh, but there's a magic window that allows you to see your resting head position mm -hmm. uh, for your footage. Yeah. Uh, we also added some unique uh, magnification capability where you can pretty much magnify into only the left lens, press a single key, and then globally move to the other lens. The, the info button, right? Yes, sir. Nice. And all these tools are, are really through our, uh, you know, R&D work and our, our interviews with VR. Filmmaking. How long have you guys been de developed this? Uh, it's been a long time coming. Long We're time very, coming. very proud of the, the solution. Uh, you got the only one in the major camera brand come up with VR one of the solution. The first one. The VR market is obviously very important. We, yeah. we support a lot of different professionals and all different types of consumers. That's why we're here at CES. Nice. Uh, but obviously this is an area of the market where we can develop an optical solution to mm -hmm. solve a lot of the challenges that VR creators are currently experiencing. Nice. So uh, let's back to the camera. So is this setup can I sell it? Like, where can we buy this setup to just easily like buy the camera, buy the setup and ready to go? So this is a third party uh, tripod. This is not a Canon tripod. Uh -huh. uh, this is one of my personal ones. Uh, but at the same time, if you go out and you start to investigate different tripods, the biggest thing is to get a very, very robust one that can mm -hmm. handle the weight capacity yeah. of your horizontal arm, your, you know, hardcore ball head. Nice. That will not go in uh, at any, uh, you know, vibrations into your video footage. Yeah. And obviously other things like uh, extension plates just to make sure that you're not going to see those tripod legs. Nice. Uh, you, I saw your stand back. Is that position not like a traditional way? You actually put it behind the camera, right? Yeah. So the biggest thing is about center of gravity. Uh -huh. For here, obviously, people are more prone to be looking at their cell phones and obviously looking at the different gear that's on display. So safety is a big thing for us here. And uh, we just wanted to make sure that it was leveled and counterbalanced for the camera body. Yeah. Uh, another question come up a lot for my viewer is the focus distance. Is it a sweet spot that some people mentioned about 1.5 meters, somebody mentioned about your infinite focus, somebody said that this lens can go all the way to below half meters focus. Like, like, Explain that a little bit and how should we people focus it because you do have a giant focus ring. Yeah, so with the with the lens, there's obviously the focus bands which will allow both lenses to be focused at the same time simultaneously. Yeah. When you think about having a 60 millimeter PD distance uh, into people are distance, there is- So 60 millimeter meaning just like IPD or IP for distance right there? Uh, you know, you're, you're looking at a certain distance that will obviously provide a stereo uh, viewing experience mm -hmm. where that subject looks very, very 3D uh, popping out of your scene. Uh, it always depends on what your subject is. The lens can focus down to about 20, uh, uh, 20 millimeters. 20 millimeters, okay. Uh, so it can be very close focus. You yeah. don't want to focus that close because oftentimes you'll have a, a situation where it might be very uncomfortable. To Wait, so so if you focus, if I focus on like 20 centimeters, is it the rest of the background blurry? So, so that depends on your aperture and things of that nature as well. Okay. But at the same time, when you're focusing that close up, your eyes will tend to converge. Converse, yeah. And it might be uncomfortable for the viewer. Nice, okay. So if you position your subject, maybe about 1.5 feet to about three feet, you're in a very comfortable situation where you're gonna have a very strong stereo image. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, the closer that you get your subject of uh, importance in your scene, uh, closer up, the more pixels that will be on them, the more richer that image will be, mm -hmm. and the more higher resolution that subject will be. So from your ex uh, experience, what is the sweet spot people should focus? Is that three feet, five feet? Like what's the talent gonna stand? I, I think that a creator really needs to think about how they wanna tell a story. Okay, you that's know, a good answer. <laughs> it, 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 there's no perfect setting, there's uh -huh. no perfect 
you know, anything. The light is always changing. You're you're having different areas. You might be moving with the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, all those things are important to consider, but uh, really just having a product that is that this versatile mm -hmm. uh, is important for VR. Okay, nice. So now I gotta ask you a couple of like, even more technical questions. Uh, one of our viewer, a couple of our viewer actually mentioned that like, since it's a 180 setup, if people move their head in a VR headset, on the top left and top right corner, we have introduced vertical parallax, so the stereo is not going to be correct. And and is it Canon? We have any software to adjust that the vertical parallax on the top left and top right corner? So we do have two so software solutions that are available mm -hmm. through USBR Utility and USBR Plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. Nice. Uh, with both of those, it is doing an automatic correction. Nice. Uh, with them, you can also do some adjustments as well. Uh, okay. You can go and kind of adjust that uh, transformation. Uh huh. Uh, but Again, every single scene is going to be a little bit different. Uh, people are going to go and find new and exciting ways to obviously use this with their own workflows and introduce their own workflows, develop their own software and things like that. So we're obviously very, very excited for, uh, you know, building a solution for those different types of viewers. Nice, so you will support creators. other software party like DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro X, Mystica, like develop like their solution instead of just Adobe Premiere. So, so currently we support Adobe Premiere Pro yeah. as a uh, plugin. Yeah. Uh, we're obviously always listening to feedback from our customers. I, I think the viewer need to clarify, is it it's free or is subscription based? Like So the, the software offerings that are currently out there for uh -huh. us, uh, there's a trial period currently. Okay. Uh, that, that's kind of a free period. For how many days? Uh, it depends on when people are going to be viewing this. <laughs> okay. Video. So okay. I know how YouTube works. Yeah. But uh, currently, there's a, a short trial period that's available. Yeah. You can go and process video files up to two minutes currently, where it'll be free. Oh, so two minutes for free. Okay, it's good. Uh, but at the same time, after two minutes, there is a subscription. And that will vary depending on where the viewer is actually watching. So if you go to your Canon uh, you know, website and you investigate it, it will be uh, different according to where the region is. So I did use the, the Canon software on both the Premiere plugin and the, and the VR utility. So why now? The, you can process Canon RAW or RAW Lite and also uh, output format doesn't have progress. Is there any support for Canon RAW and RAW Lite? Is there any recommendation of, of storage that can support this kind of high data race format? And also, will you support Ninja, Ninja V, Automo Ninja V for ProRes RAW? So, I know, I love the question. There's a lot of questions. Yes. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, currently, as far as our software solutions uh, are, are going right now, you can process JPEG images, mm -hmm. or you can go and uh, process MP4 files. Yes, but no RAW. No RAW is supported currently with yeah. either the utility or the Adobe Premiere plugin. Uh, additionally to that, uh, trying to go through your questions. Uh, is there any plan in the future support support RAW, Canon RAW and Canon RAW Live? So, so we're always listening to our feedback from our customers. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, as we kind of advance, we're going to look to support the solution and obviously the camera to build it out as, as a professional solution to everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, but at this time, uh, we're no, we're not supporting the, the Canon uh, RAW format. Okay. Uh, would they support 8K out or, or 4K, 180 out to automobile V to for external recording and live stream? Basically, that's the question. 4K, 4K out is, is possible out uh -huh. of the camera, out of the HDMI. 4K out is possible, but the, 8K? the metadata is not recorded externally. Got it. So you get the raw 8K fisheye lens out from the camera. It's possible. You, you can output a 4K image externally, but there is no metadata. Okay, so only 4K, but no metadata. And 8K is not supported currently. So 8K uh, through the Atomos recorder is possible, but there is, oh, no, it's fun. There is no metadata recorded onto that. Okay, good to know. But so that, that requires that the Atomos uh, uh, functionality. And support. So, so it's possible. So I don't need to do the homework. We, we do not, like again, the software is yeah. not compatible with the ProRes RAW. Okay. But at the same time, we, somebody out there uh, will probably investigate those things. And nice. We're excited to see what they create. Nice. Point around the booth. I, I have one question. Um, what is it like as a major camera brand to get into the VR space? Oh, that's at a, this point. That's a great question. Yeah. Uh, you know, as, as a filmmaker and, and photographer, image maker myself, uh, it's always exciting to investigate a new area of the market. Uh, as a you know imaging leader in this industry, uh, we can go and you know build solutions for all different types of people. Uh, I think that the the VR industry 
are people that are trying to always create something new, exciting, push the limits. And it's it's very exciting, obviously, to work with those type of folks and develop a solution uh, that will make their lives easier, uh, make the workflow faster, help them to deliver content quicker than ever, and obviously give them L-series product with the build, the design, uh, and the durability uh, that they're really looking for. So this is an outstanding optical lens uh, where you know you're seeing L-series glass, you're seeing the uh, you know flare control, uh, ultra low dispersion glass. We, we have so much uh, technology built into this lens to support those creators that are forging forward into the future to kind of deliver that next generation of content creation just like you. Nice, thank oh, you. That gives me chills. <laughs> That's, that. that's a great answer. Thank you for yeah. that. Yeah. Last question is uh, not about Canon. I'll talk about like what should people should check out in the Canon Boon in CES. Oh, yeah. this is a great year. Uh, we have a lot of different uh, cornerstones that are available here. Uh -huh. uh, so this is just one area of our booth that we're really excited about. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a great Brooklyn theme going on where we shot a uh, a great video uh, with a cycle crew uh, back home in New York, where I'm from. Nice. Uh, and we're pretty much letting people go in to obviously see that through headsets. Uh -huh. We also have our BTS behind you uh, where you're viewing. Uh, but when you see some of the other uh, uh, cornerstones here we have Tizuri, which is a high resolution uh, print reproduction that was created through R5. We have oh, our wow. Amlos, which is uh, kind of a, a newer solution for uh, conferencing. Uh -huh. And then we also have our Kokomo solution, which is. Uh, yeah, talk about Kokomo. You, yeah, talk about that. I, yeah. I think you want to go over there and I'll talk go about that. that. Okay. I think that's going to be right up your alley. Yes. Uh, but that's also another VR solution that we've been working on, and we're excited to go and obviously unveil today. Nice. So, nice. Uh, Obviously, CES is where the best technology comes out. We're happy to be here, and we're obviously happy to go and speak with uh, all of you. Nice. Thank you so much. It's so nice to meet you. Okay, guys. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations for launch. Thanks. Yeah. We're obviously really happy to be here and happy to deliver the tools for uh, all the people advancing imaging. Nice.